The treasure was discovered in 1972 in the land of the village of Yakimovo, Montansko, and like most similar monuments, it was found by accident. It consists of four silver bowls in the shape of a truncated cone, a silver vessel with two handles, called in ancient times a cantharos, two round appliques, two massive silver bracelets, the ends of which are shaped like snake heads, a bronze vessel with a silver band, fragments of other bronze dishes. It is likely that this is not the entire treasure, as there are reports that some of the items were stolen immediately after they were discovered. The salvaged finds are now kept in the Montana City Museum. The conical silver bowl from the Yakimov treasure belongs to the most common type of vessels from the late Hellenistic period. Similar vases have been found all over the ancient world and date mainly from the period 2i century BC. Bowls with figural images on the walls are rarer. The court from Yakimovo is interesting with the image of a horseman, which, although quite fragmented, gives an idea of the art in our lands during this period. All its modeling. The attention to detail, the hierarchy city of the poses, the rough gilding, the extensive use of the notch, these are the hallmarks of this style, which should not be associated with a particular ethnic group, but belongs to a vast international cultural community. In the image of the horseman, we can see the intermediate link between the equestrian hero from the Thracian monuments of the VIV centuries BC and the thousands of votive tablets from the Roman era. In ancient historiography, Strabo speaks of Scordus, so-called Malascordus, living east of the Morava River i.e. in the lands which until the arrival of the Celts were tribal territory. Probably also after 278 BC, the Celts continued to attack the tribes until conquering part of their lands and breaking their military and political power. The lands inhabited by the tribals were rich in various ores and metallurgy played a significant role in the life of the Scordians. In Yakimovo, they are proud of the fact that the so-called Asparakov Val passes through the lands of the settlement and is still visible, although only a small part remains. This defensive facility which was once about three meters deep, actually guarded one of the borders of Asparakova, Bulgaria, says the deputy mayor of the municipality, Konstantin Vladov. On the outside of the largest bowl is a high relief of a horseman with a short cloak and a long sword. The figure is among the rare depictions of the Thracian horseman on an object. One of the appliques depicts a bearded man, whom researchers believe is the owner of the treasure himself, represented as a horseman hero. The treasure is dated to the 2i century BC, and is most likely related to the art of the Scores, a mixed Thracian Celtic population in present day northwestern Bulgaria and eastern Serbia. In ancient historiography, Strabo speaks of Scordus living east of the Morava River, i.e. in the lands which until the arrival of the Celts were tribal territory. Probably also after 278 BC, the Celts continued to attack the tribes until conquering part of their lands and breaking their military and political power. 
It is the silver bracelets decorated with snake heads that are the mystery that remains unsolved at the moment, or rather how it ended up on jewelry in this area. The snake and its image were sacred in the Rodopi region, not near the Danube River, say Rim, Montana, but they do not bother to give an explanation for the silver reptiles near Yakimovo. An influence of cults brought from the south is not a particularly good one, since no other such symbols have been found. The other is that the ritual objects were brought, but at the same time. One of the images is believed to be of their owner, who was probably also a local ruler, and perhaps the master jeweler. The image of the other application is undoubtedly the great goddess, mother of the gods. She holds in her hands a canthar rose, probably intended for ritual libations. The two appliques served to decorate vessels intended for Thracian cult rites. The images on them are related to the custom of deifying rulers and the belief that they originate from the mother goddess. It is assumed that the vessels from the hoard were used in the performance of various rites in the home temple of a Thracian chieftain. Probably, during one of the wars, at a time of danger. They were hidden in the ground. Apparently no one survived as the vessels remained in the ground to this day. The Great Mother Goddess is the primary deity in Thracian religion. She is a symbol and personification of the earth and of the female principle, which, according to the understanding of the time, created the universe. As a rule, her images are anonymous. But very often she is represented as the goddesses Bendida, Cybele, Kotito, Brauro, Zerinthia, who are also associated with the cult of the feminine. In Thrace, the great mother goddess is the patroness of animals and the hunt, of fertility and fecundity, guardian of the cult of the sun, of the sacred fire of the women mothers and of the virgins who performed the rites. The great mother goddess possesses divine knowledge, which she passes on to the Thracian rulers through sacred marriage, turning them into gods themselves. Many things about the past of the village of Yakimovo Montansko and the region can be learned from a rich museum collection in the community center of the village. And in the National History Museum in Sofia, every Bulgarian can admire the silver treasure with gold applications, discovered in the region in 1972. Silver Bowls Bracelets and other objects reveal secrets of the life of the ancient people of these lands.